Today I'm really excited to have another Aspire Fape Mail product to get into. I've also got this bad lad right here that I'm going to be reviewing in another video. That's the Aspire V-Rod the Guru Tank. But today I'm going to be talking about the Aspire AVP Cube. And I'm going to start the review off with a very simple look at what comes in the box and I'll talk about the specs and some of the features. So with that said, please like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section or find me on Instagram. Thanks. All right, guys, now I'm gonna introduce you real quickly to the Aspire AVP Cube. You know me, I don't really do traditional unboxings and all that, but I am gonna kind of tell you a little bit about what came in the kit and we'll just run down the basic specs real quick. And when I say real quick, I mean really quick, right? In the box, what do you get? You get your AVP cube. One right there, one there, right? When you open the box, you got your user manual, you got a USB type C cord, and then you're gonna have two coils. One is gonna be a 1.15 ohm standard coil and then the other is going to be a 0.65 mesh coil. Got the mesh coil in the red AVP cube, and I have the standard coil in the black one. A little bit about some of the features of the device, right? First thing that I'm going to note is the fact that if you look really close here to this pod, you're going to notice a little dot on it. Well, if you line that dot up to any of these little airflow configurations, right? You're gonna be able to adjust your airflow and you can adjust it all the way down to nothing, right? So you've got two, you've got four, and then you have eight. I've been running mine right there in the middle at the four holes. The other feature that it has is gonna be adjustable wattage, but the adjustable wattage is only gonna work on the 1.15 coil. So don't get confused here if you were to try and press this twice, one, two, and then it just flashes all the colors at you, okay? It doesn't mean that the device is broken or anything like that. It's just telling you that the device is in bypass mode. So when the 0.65 mesh coil is in the device, the device is running on bypass mode. But when you have the 1.15 coil, press the fire button two times, one, two, and it's gonna give me a certain color, right? That blue color is telling me that the device is sitting in 12 watt territory. That green color is telling me that the device is sitting at 14 watts. The white color is telling me the device is at 16 watts. And then this red color is telling me that the device is at 10 watts. So I'm gonna put this into, oops. So I'm at the green, all right? I'm gonna keep this sitting right there at 14 watts. The pot itself has 3.5 milliliter capacity. There is a TPD version, which has an insert in it, and that brings it down to two milliliters, okay? Um, dimensions overall, put 110 by 22 by 22 mil, uh, millimeters. So as you can see, just for reference, it's about as tall as the Weenax K1. It's much, much thicker. Feature that it shares with this K1, right, is your ability to see your juice levels from pretty much any angle and most lighting conditions. So that's actually a really, really nice feature. It is chargeable with Type-C charging. There it is. And it is on the side, so that's another nice feature, right? And then having it on the bottom part. The battery is pretty darn big, okay? it's a 1300 milliamp hour battery. And for the most part, you can use it 
all day without having to charge it. So this is about as close as I've gotten to an all day vape when I'm vaping this down at 12 or 14 watts and it's 1300 milliamp hour, right? Aside from that, I think some of my favorite features obviously are gonna be the adjustable wattage, the fact that I can remove the drip tip. You see, I've got a different drip tip on there. The and now I think at this stage, I'm going to bring it back on top and I'm gonna compare it with some of this formidable line of mouth to lung pods that I've got back there, right? All right, guys, back on top with the Aspire AVP Cube. Now, how's it vape? Let me tell you. The draw on this is really quite great. It reminds me a lot of the Weenax when I put this in the four section, the four air holes. Eh, maybe there's a little more airflow on that. Let me put it into the tube. Let's see how that goes. Still probably a little bit more airflow. Seems maybe pretty similar in the two airflow slots, right? To the Weenax in regards to draw. In regards to the coil and how quickly the device fires up and the taste ramps up and all that, it takes a little bit longer. And I think that that's something that's common with Aspire coils, at least in my experience with them. But they tend to, once, once the coils and once uh, the cotton are nice and saturated and warm, they tend to produce a very, very high quality, very delicious vape that uh, has almost a signature taste to it. You very much can tell when you're vaping on an Aspire coil. And that's very much the same case here with the AVP cube and its 1.15 coil. Seems to handle very well with the candy flavors that I'm vaping it with. You know, juice roll-ups, this one being in grape. It's a little bit of blue ras mixed into it too. Um, I like the removable drip tip. As you see, I'm using another drip tip. Uh, another drip tip that I've been using with it has been a drip tip that came with the Aspire Nautilus Prime X that I especially like. Warm, flavorful vape. And that two to four air, air hole slot, spot, or whatever you want to call it, right? Is sort of my perfect place. I found myself just zoning out when I was driving uh, to work the last couple of days, vaping with this. It's a really nice vape for the car, I find, right? This is it, with the airflow all the way open. I tend to not vape my devices at full power, um, but I'll put it in full power now. Yeah, it's good restricted direct lung hit. And now the flavor's really, really ramping up now. Some heat on the coil, heat on the pod. Really, really good. 
pros and cons on it. I mean, pros, removable drip tip, the fact that I can see my juice levels from pretty much any angle, any kind of lighting. Uh, I like the four channel. I, I'm calling it a four channel airflow, right? Uh, we can count closing it off completely with that. The fact that it's got type C USB quick charging, uh, 1300 milliamp hour batteries, another huge pro on it. Uh, the only con that I actually see from this device here is that I wish it was auto draw. If this was an auto draw, game over. It, 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 there's a good chance that it could take over for my Whirl S, right? Which has become my new favorite vape, right? Um, because of the fact that it has a removable drip tip, you can see the juice. A little bit harder to actually see the juice with that. Nice big battery, type C fast charge, superior flavor, fantastic flavor, right? Um, but again, it has auto draw. And it does have adjustable airflow too. Um, overall, uh, how does the AVP Cube vape in comparison to some of my favorite vapes? Because that's what a lot of people come to the channel for. All right, here we go. I just took the Whirl S airflow down really, really far. Um, I've got a, a sliver open. I got pretty similar if I go and bring this back down to two air holes open. Huh? Oh, that's tighter. I bring it to four air holes. Actually, with the coil all nice and heated up. It's a very comparable vape. In fact, this is maybe handling the sweetness a little better. But this is warmer. Yeah, I mean, very comparable vape. I'm surprised this didn't get more uh, talk when it first came out. I mean, I, I saw that everybody pretty much reviewed it, but um, yeah, I mean, it didn't get huge notice. And I think maybe it's because it came out at the same time as the Caliber and G. This is hyped up a little more. Yeah, I mean, I now that this is all warmed up and and, and kind of humming along. My cat might knock my tripod or my tripod down, by the way. Yeah, I kind of like the airflow on this and it's vaping warmer than the Calburn is. Those one ohm coils though are so delicious, you know? Um, but yeah, the AVP cube at the 1.15 standard coil is holding its own with uh, with the UL products. Let's post out the Weenax K1. Uh, turn it on first. Better throat hit on this. Better flavor too. But yeah, I mean, overall, the AVP cube really does hold its own with all those devices. Liz has been vaping the uh, 0.65 coil 
And I very much do like this coil. Oh, it's all the way closed off. Hang on a minute. Let's open it up. Nice long draw for that. Very similar in regards to the throat hit that you get vaping this from the, uh, or essentially with the uh, airflow all the way open, taking a nice long draw on it. Really, really good. So when it comes to the Aspire AVP cube, Again, I'm just going to mention that I'm surprised it didn't get more traction. I, I do see these at vape shops, and I think that it's a fantastic device for anybody that's looking to quit smoking uh, as a conversion device. I feel like if you gave this to a smoker with a little bottle of Nick Salt at 35 milligrams, and you pair it with like a tobacco flavor or something with like nice, intense flavor, like a coffee flavor, Something like that. I feel like a device like this could probably convert a lot of smokers. So uh, if you have any smoker friends and you see these things at the vape shops and um, you're looking for a good gift to give them, I think that this AVP cube is a really good option. You know, like when, I, when I've tried tobacco flavors and other kinds of flavors outside of candy flavors and things like the caliber and g uh i found that i didn't really like them but uh here in this device we've got liz using a, a frappe flavor that's really quite delicious um with that said uh you know, if you're struggling with quitting smoking, it might not be a bad option. In fact, I do want to thank Aspire for including a second device because Liz has been having some really difficult times uh, trying not to smoke. I mean, she hasn't or anything like that. Uh, but I think it's mostly because of my encouragement and also the fact that I'm just doing anything I can to, to give her devices to try and she does like this a lot and I'm about to give it back to her um she just needed a change up and you know this one has really really helped her a lot um so again thank you very much for this Aspire it, it is helpful and you know her struggling has made it hard for me as well so having a couple different devices to test and play around with has really helped both of us when it comes to our cravings for cigarettes and smoking, right? I've hit nine months, so I'd like to thank all of you guys for your help and the fact that I have this channel. If I had, if I didn't have this channel, I might be smoking already, you know? It's as simple as that. I just can't do it. I can't do it. I've committed, right? And I've committed to you guys. I've committed to myself. I've committed money and lots of time to it as well uh, to try and get others to stop smoking and you know really I, I can't thank you guys enough for um, even if you're not holding me accountable for just your presence because it does hold me accountable to stay smoke free keep trying vapes and keep reviewing and giving you my thoughts on it and my tips too right so with that said guys thank you very much please check out my website like subscribe to the channel i just hit 2000 subscribers so that's pretty cool i'm very happy about that um comment in the comment section find me on instagram anything right 
And thank you again, Aspire, for giving me the chance to review this. I will be posting another Aspire review very, very soon. Uh, and that's on the V-Rod and the Guru Tank. So keep an eye out for that. I've got a bunch of devices that are sitting here that I've got to make videos on. It's just a matter of finding the time to do so. Thanks.